This video will show you how to use the pivot table function to create a histogram in Excel. I'm going to highlight my data. I'm only going to highlight the numerical data since I don't need the actual labels included in here. And I'm going to scroll back up, go to insert, and select a pivot table. It's default to go to a new worksheet. I would like it to go into my existing worksheet, so I will select any open cell as its location. When my pivot table appears, I will drag my data down into the row labels and sum of values area. If your data says count of, leave everything alone, everything is fine. If, however, it says sum of, click this arrow here, go into value field settings, and change sum to count. Then click OK. Go into the row labels area. Right click on any cell on the le in the left hand column and click group. The default is to group by the smallest number ending at the largest number by 10. Click OK. We can then use this information to create our histogram. Highlight my data, go to insert. I want to insert a column chart. Select the first one. This is not an image of a histogram as I would expect to see it, so I will go into chart layout, scroll down to chart layout number 8, and I have my histogram as I would expect to see it. Now let's say I want to change the look of my histogram by changing the width. Notice this is going from 11 to 20, 21 to 30, so it's going in groups of 10. If I were to want to change that, right click here again, go to group, and I can change this to any number, let's say 20. And that will change the look of my histogram. 